Today's Morning Minute, Spirit and Truth. How do you worship God? Do you worship God in the flesh or in spirit and truth? Many times we worship God in logic, reason, the flesh, and in our physical body. We use mechanical processes to worship God. Jesus tells us God is spirit, and we must worship him in the spirit and truth. And in John chapter 4, 23 through 24, we read, A time will come, however, indeed, it is already here when the true, genuine worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Reality, reality. For the Father is seeking just such people as these as his worshipers. God is spirit, a spiritual being, and thus, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Reality, that's the amplified version. You must worship him in truth for who he is and who you are in him. Let me just say that again. Worship him in truth for who he is and who you are in him. He is the creator, holy, righteous God. You are his workmanship created in his image. He breathed life into you. His spirit lives in you. His spirit resides in your temple. He has made you holy and righteous by the shed blood of Jesus Christ on the cross for the redemption of your sin. He has given you everything you need. You are complete, lacking nothing in him. He has forgiven you of, of your sin and has, set, and has set you at his right side. You are a child of the king. His reign and rule is forever. His kingdom does not have recessions or lack. His kingdom will not have economic collapse. His kingdom is filled with love and worship for the king. God's Holy Spirit is like a spring of living water, welling up, bubbling up, and flowing over to bring glory to God through you, through you. God's Spirit speaks through you. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Heaven comes to earth through God's Spirit overflowing like a river through you to others. His healing power, his word of knowledge, his discernment, his wisdom, his comfort, his blessings, his purity, his righteousness, his pleasure, his favor, his grace, his mercy, his salvation, his love is a river of life running through you. Can the Spirit of God heal the sick, forgive sin, cause the blind to see, restore hearing to the deaf, cause the lame to walk? Your answer to this question will determine your view about the truth of God. God is looking for those he will call true worshipers of him in spirit and truth. We walk by faith, not by sight. Ask the Lord to open the eyes of your heart to have spiritual sight today. The Holy Spirit gives you sight into the supernatural. Walk in the truth of the Holy Spirit living in you today. Amen and amen.